Hello, my name is Regan Wilton and I'm a wetland scientist with Dewberry. Wetlands provide a host of habitat features and are federally protected in the United States. In order to conserve wetland resources, potential impacts need to be evaluated during the project planning phase. Once a site has been evaluated and wetlands have been identified, delineated, and classified, the work of conservation begins. The most obvious conservation measure is to avoid impacts to wetlands. However, sometimes this may not be possible and therefore mitigation strategies need to be evaluated. There are several options for wetland mitigation, some of which include creation, restoration, enhancement, protection, and mitigation banking. Compensatory mitigation varies from state to state, but a common option is buying credits from a wetland mitigation bank. Wetland banking has increasingly grown in popularity due to its simplicity, convenience, and efficacy. Wetland banks are typically privately owned land parcels with wetland areas that either have been or will be restored. A mitigation bank is established and approved by the United States Army Corps of Engineers or a state agency to provide an alternative compensation option for unavoidable wetland impacts within a watershed a permittee's project is located. The permittee can purchase wetland credits from a bank fulfilling the permittee's mitigation requirements and the bank owner assumes responsibility for the future conservation and success of a bank. The upside to banking is the larger size of the protected wetland area offers greater ecological value and the insurance of permanent protection.